On a cool, clear night on the Deep Ellum side of Dallas, with campfires and barbecues and refreshments at the ready, a shoe company named Hari Mari was ready to announce a big new idea. So the whole way this whole thing started. And it starts with this guy. It's my cousin. Jacob Schick, the Marine who likes to say it was a bad day at the office, the day a roadside bomb in Iraq ripped through his Humvee, leaving him a critically injured lower leg amputee. But in doing big things, like founding the veteran suicide prevention group 22 Kill, there was a small thing he thought about too. All he wore is boots and sandals all the time. Nothing in between. Yeah. He liked sandals, flip flops, and nobody made one that would stay on his prosthetic foot. You know, he's a pretty strong willed guy. And, so uh, meet his older cousin, older. Luke Pearson. Much, he's much older. You are? Much older. Yeah. Yeah. The older, better looking. Yeah, well, we, How much older are you? Clearly, we know that's not true. <laughs> Luke emailed Hari Mari to see if they could help. We, we didn't even know if it was going to work. But the flip flop with the strap around the heel did work. Worked so well that on this night, Hari Mari was announcing that any veteran or first responder amputee nationwide could get the same for free. It just became a very small way for us to hopefully give back. Trust me, when I tell you, it's not a small thing. It's just, it's not. Because it's a, it's a lot more than just saying thank you. They're showing it. The thank you's easy. It's lip service. They're following through with the tangible action that's changing lives for the better. These guys do more for us than we all ever know, right? And for to be able to kind of pay that forward, to reciprocate in some fashion, it's a huge deal. When you get right down to it, it's just a sandal, a flip flop. But these are called freedom flops for a very good reason. To be provided that freedom again is a big deal. A big deal from just a few small steps toward freedom for the men and women fighting for ours. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.